Hello, my name is Jay Harris, and I'm here for another episode of our legendary tennis video series. Tonight, I'm going to talk about some book recommendations. And many of you may know about my sports psychology background, but what you might not know is that my college advisor at Miami University was Dr. Robert Weinberg, and he actually wrote not one, but two books on tennis. So lucky me to have an advisor that knew about tennis, wrote about tennis, taught me about tennis. Uh, my sports psychologist, he actually wrote a little, little note in the inside of the book. So kind of cool, Dr. Weinberg. Dr. Weinberg taught me a lot of things. One of the great things he taught me is that I had a lot to learn. And, and I had to do a lot of reading to do some learning. And early in my college coaching career at Bowling Green State University, I grabbed this book, Winning Ugly. Winning Ugly produced and uh, published in 1993, just after my own college career. Great book, Brad Gilbert. I knew him as Gilly when he was on the tour and I was a young, young player watching. And uh, later I, I was lucky enough to have him on my couch at Brown University and uh, as I was recruiting his son. So kind of neat, uh, kind of full circle there. But Brad wrote this book, Winning Ugly, really about how to figure out how to win on the tennis court in a lot of different ways. So um, really great book. Definitely grab that one. Um, but my favorite book is this book from Daniel Coyle called The Talent Code. Now, The Talent Code is a book um, where it talks about Daniel Coyle's expedition around the, around the globe to try to figure out why these talent hotbeds all around, why they occur. And, you know, I really love this book. You know, he looked at different things. He looked at this um, music studio in Texas that um, produced gold, gold records. Um, and he looked at this one court tennis club in Russia, uh, one court, terrible facilities, but they produced more top 25 tennis players in the world than all of the United States, this one court tennis club. So why did it happen? It happened because of deep impact learning. Um, it, it happened because of ignition. Like a lot of these great performers, they're ignited at some point in their life. And, and the book also talks about um, why, um, why master coaching is so important. So of course, of course, I, I like that. Um, but the talent code, Daniel Coyle, he, 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 when he was editing the talent code, he put a bunch of notes in the side as he's editing it. There were so many notes, he couldn't fit it into that book, so he made another book. And that book's called The Little Book of Talent, 52 Tips for Improving Your Skills. And this is actually a great book, too. I, I love giving this book to kids. Um, it's a super easy read, um, but there's just some great tips in there. You know, one of my favorite, of course, how to pick a, a high-quality coach. Uh, another one is embracing struggle. And uh, another one, one of my favorites, kind of hits home personally, is ending on a personal um, high, uh, ending on a positive note. And so um, I really like that one because as a kid, um, I grew up around the basketball court a lot. My dad, who's my tennis coach too, but my dad was one of the top high school basketball coaches in all of Ohio. And uh, he always told me, you have to make your last shot. Don't leave the gym unless you make the last shot. So all of my basketball experiences to this day in my life, which is still a lot, um, I, I always make sure I make my last shot. And I try to do the same thing on the tennis court. So thanks, Dad, for that. Um, listen, I hope you guys can take some of these book recommendations to heart. Maybe order some books on Amazon. We have some time now to do some learning, some reading. So I hope you take advantage of that. And I hope everyone stays safe. And I really look forward to seeing you all very soon, and we'll see you later. Thanks so much.